we will learn how to encrypt data file. For demonstration purpose, I will be converting login file containing ID and password into encrypted file. First of all, let's see the actual output. In my computer, I have already created login.txt file. This file contains ID and password. Now when we run our program, we want to generate output file which is encrypted file. Let's encrypt a login.txt file using C programming. I will use following simple logic in my program. I will open login.txt file in a read mode. Then I will open output.txt file in write mode. Then using a looping concept, we will read one by one character from login file, then we encrypt it and then we write it into output.txt file. Let's see the actual program. First of all, let us create two file pointers, input and output. One variable to store temporary character. Then we use fopen function to open login.txt file into read mode. File pointer will be set to input variable. Then we write a block of code to check any file read error. This block of code is optional but it is recommended to write. Then we use fopen function to open output.txt file in write mode. File pointer we are setting into output variable. Then again we write a block of code to check any file write error. Again this is optional but it is recommended to write. Then we write a loop. In this loop, using fgetc function, we will read one variable from input file. So every call to this fgetc function will fetch one character and that we store into this ch variable. Using fputc function, we will write one character into output file. But before we write that character into output file, See what we are doing is we are adding 3 into existing value of ch. So if your existing value of ch is capital A for example, when we add 3 to A we will get D. So that D will be written into this output file. This logic we will repeat until we get end of file character from this input file. Finally, we write appropriate message to show successful completion of our program and at the end we close both the file pointers. Let us delete this output file first. Let us run this code again. Successfully generated. So here you can see output file with encrypted content is successfully generated. So this is how you can provide security to your data in your project. We will learn how to decrypt content of a given file in our upcoming video.